everybody. Welcome back to Just Guitar Talk. How's it going? Hope you're having a happy holiday season so far, and I'm having a good one. I took some time off uh, at the beginning of the month, you know, just to chill out, relax, and play some guitar, eat some food, and uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I've made a video, but the new year is upon us, so I wanted to make a video about 2021 and just recap all the gear that I've purchased and let go this year. And let, just like every other year, I've purchased a lot of stuff and I sold a lot of stuff. So let's talk about it. So at the beginning of the year, in January, I purchased this guy right here. This is my Gibson Les Paul Tribute, 60s Tribute, with the two P90s. And I got it for a great price, used on reverb. You know, it's definitely a stripped down Les Paul. It's not glossy, just like a satin finish. Chambered body, no binding on the neck but it's it's good it's a good Les Paul it's very resonant it's almost got a hollow body vibe to it I put some Lindy Fralin uh, noiseless P90s in here so they're still you know noiseless but they got uh, I love these pickups and I'm gonna do a video about them uh, probably my next video actually uh, so this guitar is cool. I also put in a new bridge here with the Graftex string savers and also custom tortoiseshell pickguard and tortoiseshell truss rod cover. Tortoiseshell backs too because I love tortoiseshell. And it's fake obviously. And uh, yeah, I love this guitar. Uh, I can't wait to gig out with it, you know. It's been very good. Also this year I finished working on my Fender American Performer Strat. I got a new neck for it and I pretty much replaced everything on it. Only the body was like original on the bridge. And you know, I had noiseless pickups, tortoiseshell pickguard, all kinds of cool stuff on it. It was a great Strat, but it was very heavy and heavy Strats definitely put me off. And I, though I did like it, it was very traditional and I wanted something a little bit more modern and I'm still on that quest for I don't know, I want to say my perfect Stratocaster, but one that's, you know, got that sweet spot of, you know, vintage aesthetics with modern features, which is what I'm all about. Uh, but I did end up selling that guitar, so it was, uh, it was nice to see it go to a good home. And then later on, uh, I want to say around April or so, I purchased a Kiesel Vanquish. Uh, that guitar was a ton of fun. It was really cool. Blue sparkle finish, uh, three single coils, and awesome neck, great upper fret access, um, locking tuners, really small body, but very cool contours. And I love that guitar a lot. It was a lot of fun for kind of just sitting on the couch and playing because it was just so very small and very form fitting. Um, didn't really see myself playing it in the long term. So while I kept it for a few months and I had a good time with it, you know, I was like, okay, let's get rid of this and onto something else. And that's it for guitars in 2021. I was kind of hoping to purchase like a Strat style guitar, but I didn't get around to it. I got my eyes on something that's currently sold out and waiting to restock. So I'm hoping to make the moves on a Strat style guitar here pretty soon. And when I do, I'll make a video all about that. All right, now amps. In 2021, at the beginning of the year, I purchased, uh, or repurchased, should I say, a Roland Blues Cube Hot. And this was a 30 watt Roland Blues Cube, and it was the Boss Guitar Center Special Edition. So the uh, tube technology was modeled after like a KT66 or KT88, uh, kind of Marshall JVM style uh, amp. And I used to have one a long time ago, and I, I dug it, but then I sold it for some reason. I just wanted something else. and and I missed it, so I got one again. And uh, I played it for a little bit, you know, I liked it a lot. Um, and uh, at the time I also had a Fender Mustang, Mustang LT25 and I actually really liked that, but it was meant to be a practice amp. And I was like, uh, you know, I like this, but it's kind of too big to be a practice amp and too small to be like a proper amp. So I got rid of it. And then I got the best purchase of 2021, the Fender Mustang GTX 100. This amp changed a lot of stuff for me gear wise. Um, and I, when I got this amp, I found myself just playing it all the time. 
and I love the effects, I love the amp sounds, and it was so easy to play. You know, you just pick it up, dial in the sounds, got my presets all saved, I could use my phone to, you know, change the presets whenever I wanted, and it was just, you know, it was so good, you know, I love the tones. <laughs> tones are just fantastic in it and the effects are great too let's do some you know I've done a billion uh, billion videos about it but just to give you a little brief got some good stuff here some good modulation effects <laughs> It's just, I've been really satisfied with this amplifier and I play it all the time. And I'll tell you what, my Roland Blues Cube and all my pedals and my pedal board just sat in the corner for months. And I just only played this amp. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger. And I sold my Blues Cube and I sold all my effect pedals, except for a couple that I really, really like. Um, my Ryra clone. That thing is amazing. I would never sell that. And also an overdrive pedal, which I'm going to make a video about pretty soon here, so I won't say what it is. But yeah, I just only use the Fender GTX 100. And you know, I've, the videos I've made about this thing have gotten thousands of views, you know, or you know, hundreds rather, a couple thousand. And they've been the best videos, or you know the most viewed videos on this channel so far. So thank you everybody for watching those videos on this Fender GTX 100. It's a fantastic amplifier and it's a steal. It's like 500 bucks, 550, something like that. And the effects are incredible. The amp sounds are incredible. You can play it in your apartment. It's loud enough to gig with and it comes with a foot switch. You can't beat it. It's just, you know, for, for the money, it's awesome. Now, Having said that, would I gig with this? Maybe, I'd give it a shot. Um, the pedal, while it is very good, the foot switch, it's not the sturdiest, and I don't know if I could really depend on it in a live setting. And I really think that I might be wanting to get a tube amplifier for gigging and everything. Because um, I got my digital amp right here. I think I might need a tube one too. So yeah, that's the year in amps. I got rid of my Fender LT25. I got rid of my uh, Roland Blues Cube. Also, I did get the uh, Spark 40 watt practice amp, you know, in lieu of the Fender LT25. But again, with this GTX, I found myself only playing this and the Spark was just collecting dust, so I got rid of it. This thing is fantastic. It's awesome. Now, amp plans for 2021. I do want to practice amp, I think I'm going to go with the Boss Katana Air uh, because the reviews are great. It's small enough. I can, you know, just go wireless with it. And Katana sounds are really, really good. I love, I love everything Boss. They're great. You know, I'm still pretty, I'm pretty curious about a Boss Katana Artist 100 MK2. Those amps look incredible. And the reviews on those are just, you know, you can find amazing five-star reviews for days. So. Uh, as far as buying a tube amp goes, you know, I really wanted this. I was in Austin Guitar House, this boutique store here in Austin that sells incredible stuff. Very, very pricey, but it's all boutique, you know, great handmade stuff. Anyways, they had this amp called Silk Tone, and it is a combo. Uh, I forget how many watts. I want to say around 15 watts or something like that. And KT-66, and those are my favorite tubes. KT-66 are just amazing. And the sounds coming out of that thing are just incredible. Oh my God, they're... I just couldn't stop thinking about it when I got home. You know, I played a... Well, I played a Nash Strat with Lawler pickups in it, so that, that helps too. But the sounds that came out of this amp, man, I was just like, wow, you know, I just wouldn't need any pedals. Just plug straight in. The tone is incredible. It's just so good. It's like 2400 bucks. 
which is a little out of my price range or not really out of my price range, but a little out of the realm of responsible purchase for me. Now I could, um, I could finance it for sure, but it just like, I was like, you know, I'm not really gigging at the moment. I don't know if I could justify this purchase, you know, plus it's a tube amp and it's loud. So I was like, you know, maybe not. But Silktone just released another version of this amp and it's called the Astro. And it's only like 1600 bucks and it's got an attenuator on it and it's just like a stripped down version of that amp and I'd like to give it a try and if it's at 1600 bucks that's actually takes it out of the whole like irresponsible to buy area so I think that could be doable for me so so this this coming year 2022 I think I'd like to purchase a tube amp and I think I'd like it to be the Silk Tone Astro I'd also like to purchase a practice amp the Boss Katana Air now, effects pedals, I sold all my effects pedals this year and I didn't purchase any, but next year I think I would definitely like to start rebuilding in my pedal board. If I'm gonna get a tube amp, I'd like to rebuild an analog pedal board as well. And, you know, I'm gonna have my mainstays on there, the Ryra clone and also the, uh, sorry, the Keeley Compressor Plus. I'd really like to get a Strymon uh, delay pedal as well. I'd like to get, you know, a nice vibe pedal. I'm not kind of sure. Just think the Source Audio makes a really nice vibe pedal or chorus pedal that has vibe features to it. Also, I, man, I've been really wanting to pull the trigger on a Snouse Black Box just because I do like Blues Breaker pedals. You know, I've only played clones so far and I really like them, the Transparent Overdrive. And I'd like to give that one a try. It's a little bit pricey, but I think it'd be worth it. I'd also like to go with a Van Dye Electronics uh, Green Jealousy, which is a Tube Screamer TS-10 pedal. Uh, that's kind of like a boutique clone made uh, TS-10 pedal. Either that or a Ryra 808, just because I know I love Ryra products and they're so, they're so cool. Distortion pedal, definitely a Fender Pugilist Distortion. I love them. Uh, Fuzz, either a Mojo Hand FX Iron Bell, I just had one before and I loved it. Or I um, might actually do a Wampler um, Velvet Fuzz. That, that thing just looks really cool. And it's kind of like a fuzz pedal for people who aren't into fuzz and that's me for sure. Uh, guitar purchases, yeah, I think, well, so that's it for effects. And as far as, you know, guitar purchases, yeah, definitely a Strat style guitar. Maybe, maybe a Gibson Firebird if I can find one at a decent price. It seems like it's really hard to find used Firebirds at decent prices now. If you do find a used Firebird, they go at, you know, crazy, crazy prices. I'm looking for like between a 2013, 2015 where they still have the banjo tuners. I don't like the regular tuners or the the, the big gear tuners on them. I just, I just like the banjo tuners. They're super like, you know, they're uninvasive. I think they look cool, easy to use. I like them. Uh, and I just love a Firebird. I've always wanted one, dreamt of having one, and I haven't got one yet. So I either I'm gonna pull the trigger on a Strat style guitar or I'm going to get a Gibson Firebird. That's really it. Uh, also, I don't have an acoustic. This is my wife's acoustic up here and I don't really have an acoustic of my own. And I think maybe this might be the year to get an acoustic as well, but there's some big plans, you know, so Strat style guitar or Gibson Firebird, Silk Tone Astro with the Boss Katana Air for a practice amp and then analog pedal board. So that's a lot of bucks right there. So we'll see how far I get and we'll see what I do get and then what I sell after that. <laughs> But yeah, I got some cool videos coming up this year, um, some pedal demos, also hopefully some new guitar demos, as well as some pickup demos as well. And I want to thank everybody for watching all the videos I've made this year. I've really enjoyed it. I want to thank, say thank you to all my new subscribers and everybody who's you know commented and liked my videos on this channel. I hope you keep coming back and I hope you keep leaving nice comments and I hope you keep giving me feedback and let me know what you want to see. I really appreciate hearing from everybody. So thank you again for watching. This is Just Guitar Talk. I'll see you next time. Happy New Year.